This video will demonstrate a three remote call-in podcast uh, setup using Source Connect Now. Here's the mixer we have so far. And first we'll go over the audio and then we'll demonstrate the uh, recording software and the soft the uh, Source Connect Now browsers. Here's guest one's audio. When I'm auditioning a singer, like if I'm working with a young artist who's just learning to sing, if their natural out of tuneness is flat, I always shy away. If their natural out of tuneness is sharp, I always say we can work with this. Yeah, right. yeah. And guests too uh, have not kind of been close to your content before that are that are making comments um, to find that kind of constructive YouTube, new voice. Yeah, usually it would just be like people who aren't like if you comment on the video in the first day. You're probably a and here's guest three. The shooter was not known to have a history of diagnosed mental illness. He he is known or was known to have an anger management problem. From Fox News as Evans a demo. collection thus far. And now from the host, we're going to send to all guests, guest one, guest two, and guest three, uh, any desktop audio, which is coming from Firefox here from Pensado's place. And this is going out to every guest. I could write a book about every chapter, but, but this whole series of events happened and I ended up taking a big risk at the time and bought. And of course, to the system here, which is my sound card, so I can hear it. Now we also have a media player from the host's computer using Aqualung. And it's going out to all guests. That's important. Sure is. There's yeah. a, there's a, I mean, um, there's a Rascal Flatts record, which is sort of like a bummer. I like there's a Rascal Flatts record that would have been lost, which is kind of like, whoop. well, that's kind of a, you know, military intelligence. So we have media player, desktop audio that's a natural default to the computer here, and Aqualung, which is a Jack Aware app. So we have three sources of audio plus the microphone from the host going to all guests. We have the mix minus going from one guest to the other two guests. So we're, everybody's a, able to hear each other. And we have in the recording software, here's guest one. I mean, there's definitely... There's audio five, audio four. four. Um, so I'm going to expect... And of course, three. Determined that there were magazines found. So everything's getting recorded in individual tracks so you can edit each individual track for different things as yeah. well as here's the desktop audio here's the media player it makes so much sense though why they wanted to keep you there why john wanted to keep and here's the usb microphone of course at the bottom so we're able to record everything and then edit each track and as needed so that's ordur here's uh the browsers now so we're using three individual browsers opera Vivaldi and Chrome. And these all work with Source Connect. Here's the, the uh, Chrome browser. Here's the Vivaldi. And here's the Opera. And we're using three free accounts, individual free accounts from Source Connect now. That allows you to have up to uh, two or three guests. I, I think it's four on here so you can have four people at one time but instead of everybody coming out on one browser you can't mix it individual tracks that way so if you bring up three different browsers you can also save and bring it up again but now this allows you to have individual tracks for each guest call in it's a little bit complicated uh, but it's I think this is uh, convenient enough as far as editing the podcast later since you have individual tracks. Now to get Pulse Audio you need that Pulse Audio Jack module, module Jack, and you need Pulse Audio 6.0 or better. Here's the Pulse Audio PAVU control and we'll just slide up here and you can ch uh, tell 
Pulse Audio which source or sync to use. So that you can have multiple jack Pulse Audio Bridge syncs and sources. And I'll show you the command lines here in a second for that. Here's the recording. So we have everybody's on an individual sync and source. Same thing for the playback. And with the recording software, we're getting a little bit of uh, slow response here on PA VU control. But uh, you probably get the idea here. Let's see if I can get this scrolled up a bit more. There we go. So Opera's on guest three and so forth. So I'll get rid of that. And now for the command lines, here they are. So to get guest one, two, and three, this is how we used the PACMD commands, load module, module, jack, sync, and sources. And you can name it and tell it how many channels to use. And that's just about it for the basic setup. Of course, in between here, you can apply all sorts of uh, LV2 plugins, LADSPA plugins. You can even use Carla to use uh, Windows VST plugins if you wanted to adjust the audio using any DSP app or plugin like that. So this is a basic framework to get started to have three remote guest call-ins on three individual Source Connect accounts using three different browsers so that you can have individual tracks to record on an application, a recording application like Ordur. Thanks for watching.